Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst. And tonight, we're going to be talking about the 2020 South Carolina primary. It is not over, folks. Joe Biden, with an impressive victory. We'll see the extent of it towards the end of the night. But for now, it appears that we will be going into Super Tuesday with the Democratic presidential nomination still up for grabs. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter and Minds and like this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so 2020 South Carolina primary. Joe Biden needed a big win, and he and he got one. I think that. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, had underestimated the amount of support that Joe Biden would have among, uh, particularly among the African American community. I didn't think he, I didn't think he had these kinds of, these kinds of numbers in him. As you can see right now, with 21 percent of the precincts reporting, Joe Biden is at 51.7 percent. Now, there's a few things that you need to know about the South Carolina primary. Firstly, that Joe Biden needs about 86,000 more votes, not total, but more votes than Bernie in order to get the uh, total of the popular vote. And that's going to be very important uh, for propaganda purposes, because going into Super Tuesday in these next couple of days, if Biden could get the popular vote, or a better way, a better way to say it is, if Bernie has it, he'll be able to go around and say, "The people still want me." You know, I may have lost in South Carolina, but the, I still have the popular vote. The people still want me as the candidate. Whereas, if Biden gets that, obviously he could then de deny that to Bernie and then utilize that himself. So I think that's going to be a key thing, particularly with Bernie Sanders' pitch. You know, he's a, it's a grassroots type movement. And the other thing you need to know is that I think Biden needs about 33 delegates to pass him in the delegate count. So if Biden could go into Super Tuesday with both the most delegates and the most votes, total votes, I think it's going to be very, very important going forward. And finally, the way it works in South Carolina is that you need 15% of the vote in order to get your delegates. Now, Bernie's sitting right now at 17.6%, so it looks like he is going to he is going to get that threshold. Uh, we'll see, but I think that it's it's fair to say Bernie's going to get a, a couple of delegates out of this. And uh, I, as of right now, with 20% reporting, Biden has about three times as many votes in the popular vote. So I think he may he may end up walking away with this one. This is exactly what he needed. This is exactly what he needed, Joe Biden. So perhaps I have underestimated <laughs> Joe Biden, but we will certainly see. Bernie, 17.6% as said. Tom Steyer, this was his chance. This was Tom Steyer's chance. And doesn't look like he's going to be a day late and a dollar short. Looks about He's got 12% right now of the vote and 16,000 votes. Tom, I, sorry, bro. <laughs> I mean, really, I think he, he had a good strategy, but he failed to put it. He failed to connect with, with the voters. I think he's going to be out for Super Tuesday. I think he needs, uh, he needs to drop out, I think. But well, again, I'm not, I'm not doing any predictions. <laughs> okay, so Pete Buttigieg, uh, I heard that Pete Pete's campaign rally is not showing any of the results. So it seems like they, it seems like they had wanted, or or they knew they were going to do poorly, is what it would seem like to me. I would tend to agree with that. Um, I don't think anybody expected him to do particularly well. Biden's strength is in the African-American community. 
and Pete's is not, <laughs> to say the least. He has negligible support among among the African American community, and Biden does very, very well, as I think the results from tonight have borne out. Warren, Warren is is struggling. Her campaign is fading and fading fast. Klobuchar, same thing, and then you got the rest of them. Poor, poor Michael Bennett. Poor Michael Bennett. I'm sorry, bro. I feel for you. As you can see, here on uh, on this particular map is the precincts that have reported. There's not going to be any major uh, change. I uh, just literally two seconds ago, Joe Biden has received the most votes in 23 of South Carolina's 46 counties. We're still waiting on one precinct in 46 counties. So, hey, there you go. Again, Bernie, he's got to hit that 15%. He has to hit that 15%. Super Tuesday is going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy because it's still all it's still all up in the air after this uh, particular showing. And here, here are, are the states that will be voting in Super Tuesday. Um, Klobuchar, <laughs> Klobuchar, you better win Minnesota. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. The two biggest, obviously, are California and Texas. I mean, the two most populous, most populous states in the union voting on the same day. It's, it's, I think we're going to have a clear winner after Super Tuesday. But we'll see. I mean, Virginia, also another extremely populous state. Minnesota, same thing. I mean, hopefully, Warren may have a lockdown on some of these states up here. I don't know. Um, we're going to see what happens. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> I'm not willing to make any more predictions. I, I don't do predictions. <laughs> I don't do well when I make predictions. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no clue. But it would appear, I think that a safe prediction would be that at this point, it's either Bernie or Biden. Um, Bloomberg had his chance. He did. He blew it in both of the debate of bo in both of, of the debates. He blew it. He did terrible. We'll, we'll see what happens. I think if the moderate quote unquote quote unquote moderates want to win, they need to get behind Biden right now because it's just Bernie in the progressive camp. Warren kind of kind of in the progressive camp, but. They need they need to get behind Biden right now, before Super Tuesday, if they want to beat Bernie. That's what I think. That's what I think is going to need to happen. I don't know if it will, but we'll certainly see. And finally, to end the news day today, it was just reported today. The first U.S. death from the coronavirus has happened today. It, it doesn't appear to be spreading, you know, like wildfire throughout the U.S. as of yet, but we'll see. It is going to get bad. It's not going to be terrible. The current mortality rate is at about 3 to 4%. We'll see what happens. I, I think that, I think a lot of people are going to get infected, and it seems like 3, three to 4% is an accurate estimate. But we're certainly going to see. The reason I wanted to talk about this is that very recently I went out and got about a four-week food supply. Now, I'm not one of these prepper types. <laughs> I'm not one of these preppers, but I do have a water filtration. I have a water filtration set, and I have four weeks of food. I mean, so you can get something. I would recommend getting something that you can put in your closet and forget about for a decade. So you always have, so sh whatever it would be, whatever emergency would happen, you know, whether it's something like this or hurricane, tornado, what have you, you have a month's worth of food ready to go for you and your family. So I would strongly recommend that anybody doing that, just, just be prepared. There's literally no reason not to me, not to be. 
I was telling people about this and they're like, what a waste of money. Why would you do that? I'm like, there's, there's actually no reason not to. You go out, buy some food that lasts for a very long time. You put it in your closet and forget about it. Just forget about it. So that way, if, if something like this ever happens, where it does get really serious, you know that you're prepared and you can look out for, for you and your family. So I'm going to end it there for today. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Minds, and like this video. Have a good one. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.